So right here, after you have made your coupling slit, you can see, after you already cut it and you already make your slit on the coupling side, next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your couplings. For here, I already pulled my couplings. It's very simple, just put your, um, your fusing inside. You can see, that's what we have. Just going to be a straight, then you're going to shape on you want to take i took half of an inch from this side in order to give me that that edges this edges right here i took half half inch from this side and from this side so you're going to fold your cufflinks i show you guys how to cut it out cut it out and you're going to fold your cufflinks you're going to make a stitch on your first line right here you can see make a stitch my cufflink itself is at three inch which i said before during the cut it's at three inch so the next thing you're going to do for your uh for your couplings uh, plaquette, this is what I use. So this, you're just going to cut a straight fabric, just a straight fabric, and you're going to cut it. I hold it with an emmy gum on this each of the edges, and I make the same opening at this side. You guys can see that. So it's what I'm going to use for my turnover for the coupling side. So let's go to the sewing machine so that we're going to do it. So it's going to be like this. Just like this, and you're going to have a stitch at that side so we are going to attach our coupling sleeve to it very simple so right now this is our sleeve you can see it this is the slit opening side and this is our turn over so the next thing you're going to do is from the front part of your fabric from the front side here we are going to turn it over so we're going to stitch that part <coughs> So from this side, I'm going to stitch that place. Let me zoom in clearly so that you guys can see what I want to do. Okay, so here, I'm going to make a stitch, just a tiny stitch on that side. So I believe you guys see what I just did now, you can see. So now we are going to make a notch here and do a turn over. I guess that's very simple. We are going to make a notch at this side. And we are going to do a turn over. So here I already did turn it over, you can see. So you are going to iron it down. So the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to stitch this down. So after you turn it, so the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to stitch it down from this side. Make sure that you hang it straight because whatsoever you stitch from this side will be obvious in the front. Are you getting? So your hand has to be very straight. That. 
So whatever you stitch from here is going to be obvious in the front. You can see so far. So this is what we have in the front. Move them back a little bit. So this is what we have in the front. So this you are going to do is so you are going to take out your pleats. I'll be taking out two pleats from here. Just two pleats. Two are going to be facing the side from this bigger part. Let's take out two pleats. I'm going to make this stitch. Just take your pleats, you're going to stitch it, just pull it down. The next thing you're going to do as well, you're going to stitch this part as well, you're going to stitch it together. So after that, you need to be almost, our sleeve is almost ready, you can see. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. Like this. I believe you can see that it's going to be from this side. It's going to be from this side. So the next thing we are going to do is, we, are, we need to weave these edges. We're going to weave both edges and we're going to add it to our our couplings. So after you weave both the edges, you can see I already weave those edges. You can see clearly. After you weave those edges, next thing you're going to do is you're going to stitch this part together. Before you stitch them, you have to calculate your put your your um, coupling sleeve. You have to measure it. For well, this one, I did 10.5. Which is, you can see, I did 10.5 on this one. So here, the 10.5 divided by 2, that would be 5. 5 one quarter. So you're going to measure out your 5 one quarter on this side. Pull it together. So you can see, you're going to stitch your 5 one quarter at that side. somewhere around here because doing the complete joining I will have to measure my wrist I will have to measure my, uh, my this side of the hand so I'm going to have the measurement so I can still trim it down or enlarge it so that's it so the next thing I'm going to do now is this place just open it back up and I'm going to add my couplings to the sleeve so when you measure the sleeve we're going to have the same, like an accurate measurement, you can see, like an accurate measurement. So here, place in your, so when you measure this with your cup, with your sleeve, you're going to have an accurate measurement from this side to this side. You can see that from this side to this side. So in any case, if you find out that your sleeve is bigger than your couplings, you can easily slim it down. Or if your couplings is bigger than your sleeve, you can easily increase it from this joining right here. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to attach this. Don't forget, this has to be in the front of your of your um, sleeve with this first joining. So you are going to, this back has to face this back side. So you're going to face each other to the matching just like that. So here, this opening, you're going to slit it open. Make sure you're not stitching it together. Slit it open. You're going to start sewing them together.
picture needs to uh, align to the other very well. After that, the next thing you can turn it just like this. You see, it's almost, almost ready when you turn this to the front. You can see what we have so far. You can see the sleeve is almost ready. So the next thing you're going to do is just to stitch it, just to stitch it straight. Just stitch it straight, and straight like that. So, so far, that's what it looks like to make a coffin sleeve. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. The next thing you're going to do is just to make a stitch around these edges. So, we're going to do that now. Make a stitch around these edges and you can take your time to iron it very well. You can see it's going to be like this. You can see what we have on that edge side. It's as simple as A, B, and C. You can see, you see that? 